Hey guys, it's Destry. Welcome back to my greenhouse today. Today I'm going to be sowing some seeds. I'm super excited to get this 2024 seed sowing season started. Wow, say that three times fast. Anyway, today I'm sowing uh, three different kinds of seeds. I'm going to be doing snapdragons. I'm going to be doing some carnations and some sweet peas. So stick around and we'll get some seeds planted up today. So about three weeks ago, I sowed some geranium seeds and they did really, really well. I'll pop a picture here to show you kind of what they look like right now. They're doing great. Um, and then last week, maybe a week and a half ago, I sowed some carnation seeds. I did three trays of carnation seeds and here they are. Nothing, zero, zero germination, <laughs> okay? So needless to say, I'm feeling pretty defeated. When the seed, with the seed starting situation. Now, I think what I did wrong is I covered them with soil. I did ha have them on heat mats. I had them under heat lamps. I kept them wet. I had my humidity dome. I was doing everything right. But I started to do a little research on carnations and realized that they need light to germinate. So don't be like me. <laughs> do your research before you waste these precious seeds that are, let's face it, kind of expensive sometimes. Make sure that you are doing it the right way. I am going to be re-sowing these today and hopefully I will have some better luck this time because all I grew there was like some moss basically. Um, so I do have a few left. Thankfully I have a few left. Um, so that is one project I'm gonna be doing is trying again with some carnations. So the next kind of seed I'm gonna be sowing today are sweet peas. I have two different varieties from Florette. This one is the Albert Blue. And then I also have the Loranthus, Loranthus or, or Tadas. Basically, it's the Cocoa Mix. So these are the two that I have from Florette. And what I did last night is I um, soaked the seeds in some water. So you can see for this packet from Florette, I got five seeds. Five seeds. <laughs> Which I was a little disappointed, but hopefully they're all going to germinate and they're going to be great. Right? Right? Um, so anyway, there's my five seeds. I've been soaking them in water. They have plumped up quite a bit and I do need to make my labels. That's why I still have my little packets in here. So um, if you are gonna do sweet peas, they also need light to germinate. And I've also heard that they do not like to germinate when it's on a heat mat or very, very warm. So my greenhouse is getting to be, well, right now it's about, whew, it's about 80 degrees in here. So it's pretty warm. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day, but it hasn't, this is, not the t typical days we've been having, but it is cooler at night. So I think what I'm going to do is actually try to germinate the sweet peas here in the greenhouse because the temperatures at night are still getting probably into the 50s. And um, I think that they will like that cooler temperature rather than being in my house. So one of the things I have done some research on are sweet peas. Um, they definitely need to be staked once they, um, you know, sprout. They're going to need to be pinched. And I'll kind of take you through that process as I go. Again, Total disclaimer, I am still learning. <laughs> this is my second season growing cut flowers, so I definitely, um, as a home gardener, have some things that I'm still learning. But uh, very excited to give sweet peas a try. I've never grown them before, so let's hope for some good germination. So the last flower I'm gonna be sowing seeds for today are snapdragons. I have grown snapdragons before, and they are pretty easy to grow. Now these also need light to germinate, so I'm just gonna surface sow them, spray them with my little water bottle, and hopefully they will germinate for me. And I will put these inside under a grow light and a heating mat um, just to help speed up that process. But I had really good luck with these last year, so I'm crossing my fingers that this year they will be another plant that's pretty easy to grow for me other things I have. I have my little seed starting trays from Amazon. You can find those in the link below. Um, I've really been liking these and um, I do have my seed starting mix. Yeah, I have my seed starting mix. I think that's pretty much all I need, right? Seed, seed starting mix, some seed cells. Let's get going on this. I am running out of time. <laughs> Let's go.
Well, guys, that's going to be about all the time I have today. I've got to run to the dentist, <laughs> but I wanted to get some snapdragons and sweet peas and re-sow my carnation seeds. And I guess I just wanted to make this video today to remind you that if you are starting seed sowing and something goes south, just try again, right? First, you don't succeed, try again. Um, it could be something you did, user error, or it could be, you know, a variety of factors. So I would say... Do your research, read your seed packets, see what you could do differently to hopefully have more success and give it another shot. Don't get discouraged or feel like you're a bad gardener or something like that. At least that's what I'm gonna try not to do even though I have been in a bit of a funk since none of my seeds germinated for my carnations. But you know what? Maybe it's not me, maybe it's the seeds, I don't know. I'm giving it another shot, so anyway. I hope you liked checking out the video today and I hope it motivated you to try some seed starting for the 2024 spring season. If you need me, I'll be hanging out in the yard. See you guys next time. Bye.